T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. And lift off of Starlink 2-6. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle's pitching downrange. And one D chamber pressure is nominal. Now at T plus 30 flight, you can see Falcon 9 is fully lifted off from or east a.m. Pacific time. Power and telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. There we heard the call out for Max Q indicating that the vehicle has passed through the maximum dynamic pressure that it will feel during flight. We're about a minute away from main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES-1, which will all happen in quick Perfect succession. Show. There we heard the call out for MVAC chill, indicating that that second stage engine, the MVAC, or Marlin vacuum engine, preparing for its ignition. All those three events that will happen uh, one right after another, that will be then followed by fairing separation just a few seconds later. As the name indicates, Miko, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of those Merlin engines on the first stage will shut down. Stage separation is where the first and second stages will separate. And then SCS-1, or second engine start one, is where we will ignite that Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. There you can see all three of those events happening one right after another, including with a successful second stage ignition. There on the left-hand side of your screen, we can see those grid fins deploying. Those will help steer the vehicle back down for a precise landing on Fairing separation confirmed. Gorgeous view of that fairing separation, exposing our payloads to the vacuum of space. There you can see one of those fairing halves falling away behind uh, in the background there on the right-hand side of your screen. We will attempt to recover the fairing halves using our recovery vessel NRC Quest. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are flight proven. One half flew for the fifth time and the other for a third. Currently the first stage is on its way back to, uh, or it will be making its way back to Earth. We can see that it's still just barely gaining an altitude if you follow along with the telemetry uh, readout on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. So it has not yet reached its apogee, uh, but it will uh, be making its way back down to Earth momentarily and target a landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 206th mission overall and the seventh mission this year.
nominal trajectory. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite in internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Starlink is now available in Peru and also Nigeria, making it the first African country to receive service. As of now, Starlink is available in 46 countries and 56 markets around the world. As I mentioned before, the first stage views are on the left, second stage views on the right-hand side of your screen. And we can see that that first stage booster has passed through its apogee and is now making its way back down to planet Earth. Just a stunning view there of the globe in the background. In about 10 seconds, we'll have entry burn startup. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one, also known as the booster, has ignited three engines to help slow it down for atmospheric reentry. The first stage uh, is used to launch our 49 stage satellites and our deorbit rideshare payload into space today is flying for the seventh time. T plus seven minutes. Nominal trajectory. Five seconds into flight and everything is looking good for both the first and second stages. Beautiful views of that MVAC nozzle. Stage two, FTS has saved. Transonic. There we heard that the first stage is transonic, meaning it's traveling near the speed of sound. One thing to note, we may or may not have ground station coverage to confirm SECO-1 live. Uh, if that happens, if we happen to lose that ground station coverage before we're able to confirm that second engine cutoff, uh, we'll tune into the stage next. Stage two in terminal guidance. Uh, we'll tune into the nets and wait for confirmation when we connect to the next ground station. Stage one landing burn. There we can see the landing burn has begun for the first stage, targeting a landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. There you can see Falcon 9 has successfully landed on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Mark shut down. Marking the 168th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including F-9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Nominal parking orbit. And Expected loss of signal, Cook. There we just heard it uh, called out on the nets that we did achieve that nominal parking orbit. Uh, but the mission isn't over just yet. That second stage is still carrying our 49 Starlink satellites and our rideshare payload. The next milestone coming up is the second start and shutdown of our MVAC engine on the second stage. That SES-2 is currently scheduled to occur at the T plus 53 minute mark. So enjoy some space tunes for now and we'll come back live in about 40 minutes.